Exxon Mobil is suing uh, 20, 21st Century Fox because of their new Fox FX XX <laughs> logo. Now, apparently, their new logo uh, uses uh, two X's that look very similar to what the Exxon Mobil lo logo looks like. So they're basically suing for copyright infringement, which is super questionable. Now, let's take a quick look at the picture comparing the two logos so you get a sense of what I'm talking about. Um, and they look similar. They look similar. But also keep in mind that they're two completely different brands. I mean, you have gasoline and oil, and then you have a television network. So it's the overlapping X's that yes. they're complaining about. And when you look at it, you get it. You're like, okay, I, I understand that does look similar to the Exxon X's in, in specific. Yes. The flip side to that is, is anybody going to FXX and going, wait, where's my gas? <laughs> no one is doing that. It's so stupid. And I should also note, um, ExxonMobil is complaining that they're losing money as a result of this. Oh, come you on. You guys are making $104 million in profit a day. Can a you? day. A day. That's insane. $104 million in profit a day. And you're talking about how you're losing money. How? How, do, how are you losing money because of a television network having a logo that kind of looks like yours. If you are the television network and you're making a list of pros and cons, you know, should we emulate their, you know, the Exxon logo or not? Would that fall on the pro or the con list? I would say con. con right. Of so course! Who, who would do that? Who would that? Things like, right. oh, we're going to do like It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, we're going to do a league, it's going to be a great fun channel, so let's try to confuse people by Which naming it after most, like a most, mega oil company. Unpopular. Right, if it was like you know stealing the Google logo, I could see that. Right, right. Like the Jimboree, you know, kid store stealing. Like, it's like okay, that's kind of fun, innovative. Yeah, like it's like Coke because they've done uh, all the branding yeah. around happiness. Yeah, Nike, we could do it. All this. Exxon Mobil, you think of like ducks covered in oil. <laughs> right. Like who wants to go to that channel? Horrible. Right, but Horrible. maybe the, the people that go to FX, they like that manly stuff like, you know, global warming and things exploding and ducks covered in oil and all that. You know, can I just say, I, I generally have a policy here that I don't curse, but these motherfuckers at mm -hmm. Exxon, they make so much money as you just said. Yep. It's like, get over it, that thing, Sure, kind of, yeah, there's a little bit of it, but it doesn't look that much like it. And it's like, how much money do you guys need that, you, that no, not enough, we still have to stop this irrelevant thing from happening? Come on. It's symbolic stop. of their greed, yeah. and it's That's symbolic it. of their obsession with power, right? Because I know that, obviously, Fox is not a small corporation or company, but at the same time, I mean, it's nothing compared to ExxonMobil. It's nothing compared to the amount of profit that ExxonMobil makes. Yeah, ExxonMobil has been among the most profitable, top three most profitable companies in the world for a long time now. And I actually have no beef with it if it weren't for all the other things. Yeah. So like wh whether it's, it's mainly the, the thing that really gets under my skill isn't even the oil spills and the damage, the greenhouse gases. It's all that stuff that's terrible. It's, that's not my main problem. My main problem is that they, they then take oil subsidies mm -hmm. from the government. They take money out of taxpayers' pockets, including my pocket. Every time I pay taxes, some of that is going to Exxon Oil because they say they need incentives to drill. <laughs> the incentive <laughs> is your gigantic record-breaking profits. That's capitalism. Why are you taking my money? And it's because, of course, they have political power. And Anna, you nailed it. They're so used to pushing everybody around mm -hmm. and getting whatever they want, to going into a room and saying, yes, even though we're the most profitable company in the world, I need a subsidy from the American mm -hmm. taxpayer, and then walking out with one. So they, so they say, like, I mean, I love the, uh, the quote here from uh, Julie Henderson, spokesperson for FX Network. She said, it's unfathomable. We are confident that viewers won't tune into FXX <laughs> looking for gas or motor oil, <laughs> and drivers won't pull up to an Exxon pump station expecting you to get It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. <laughs> so, but since Exxon is so used to making yeah. outrageous arguments and winning mm -hmm. because they've paid off the politicians, etc., they think, well, I just go in and I say, yeah, of course they will. Yeah, I mean, w I lost money because they, they came to my pump looking for the league and they couldn't find it, and so I, I deserve even more money. But can we, can we celebrate something here? Yeah. Now imagine if the story was Exxon gangs up on single mom and takes over her house to drill oil. That would be sad, right? This is Exxon attacking Fox. That's not actually that bad. <laughs> that's, that's, that's pretty good. The same, the same week that, the, as I said before, the right wing is fighting the insane right wing, this can kind of be like popcorn week for progressives, just watching <laughs> these bad guys go at it. So you're right, you're right. ExxonMobil versus Rupert Murdoch. Not bad. Pretty if good. you're going to have a fight, that's a good one to have. Yeah.